today we're going to talk about how to insert a part into a part. So if we click insert part, we'll find the one we want to use. And now all we have to do is make sure we transfer the proper features in. Planes and solid bodies is all I need. But let's make sure we check local locate part with move copy feature. Go ahead and place this in my workspace. And now I can start to constrain how I want this to actually look inside of my part. And we'll add, we'll say maybe a parallel relation between this and this side. So here we are, and perhaps I accidentally clicked the checkbox. Well, now what do I do? Well, if I right click on the cover feature that I used to bring this part in, I can just edit the feature, say OK again, and it brings me right back to this locate part. So let's add a few more mates and we can finish our selections. And one more over here. There, that looks good. Let's go ahead and turn the planes off and see what we have. Now we still have two bodies, so we want to go ahead and combine these so it's one part. I'll use the combine tool, select both the bodies, and now you can see we have one solid part. 